In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for NaHCO3 plus HNO3. This is sodium bicarbonate plus nitric acid. So the first thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation and it's already balanced. So that's kind of nice. Next, we write the state for each substance. So sodium compounds are very soluble. So we're going to write AQ. That's going to dissolve, dissociate. Nitric acid is a strong acid, strong electrolyte. That'll dissociate as well. Here we have a nitrate and a sodium compound. So that is going to be soluble. Carbon dioxide, that's a gas and water is a liquid. So we have the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. Sodium on the periodic table, that's in group one, has a one plus. And this HCO3, this bicarbonate ion, the whole thing has a one minus. So we have Na plus, and I won't write the states, let's do that at the end. Then we have this HCO3, the bicarbonate ion. For the nitric acid, hydrogen group one, one plus, that whole nitrate ion, one minus. So we have H plus, and then we have the nitrate ion, NO3 minus. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we have a plus and a minus here. So Na plus, just like the reactants, and the nitrate ion, NO3 minus. We don't split gases apart, so we just have CO2, and we don't split liquids apart, so we have H2O. This is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. We have our reactants and our products. I see in the reactants I have a sodium ion and in the products. Get rid of that. Here's a nitrate ion in the reactants, and again, we have one in the products. Get rid of that. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for this NaHCO3 plus HNO3. Let me clean this up, write the states in, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for sodium bicarbonate plus nitric acid. When you look at this, you can see we have a negative and a positive. That adds up to zero. We have a net charge of zero here. These are all neutral compounds, net charge of zero. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. Often you'll see the positive ion written first. You know, it really doesn't matter. Maybe it looks a little nicer. Either way, this is the balanced net ionic equation for NaHCO3 plus HNO3. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.